so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over! Open up, we're here! Okay, you're yelling like so loud. <laughs> hey guys! Hi everybody! Oh my gosh, we are so excited because we are back with... OMG, but not at our house. No, we are coming over to other people's houses, the homes of the digitally famous, YouTube stars, Instagrammers, and today we are at Shameless Maya's apartment. You know Maya, she has an amazing YouTube channel, super cool, has really fun style, but her place doesn't have that style. Well, her place was where she used to live and work. Now she got her own office space, so now she's turned it into her just straight up living pad. Yeah, it's her straight up living pad, but she also still wants to be able to shoot some lifestyle content there, but she still wants to be able to use her apartment for her own inspiration and for her vlogs and stuff like that. So we need to infuse her amazing personality into her space. You get it. Too much talking. Let's get into it. Okay. OMG, I am Shameless Maya. And Mr. Kate, aka Kate and Joey, are here and they're gonna turn my house out and I'm so excited. Look at wow. it. Oh my gosh, Take it you in. really did. You moved out so much stuff. So Maya basically lives in a loft apartment. So we have to deal with really high ceilings and we have to also deal with giving her areas within one big space. So the goal is like now this is just like living space, right? Yes, I wanna be a mature adult yeah. who loves, you know, fun outside the box things, but I want my home back. And this is like a no. loft, so we need living, dining, solution. Yeah, this Clearly is I have no, no dining. No, no. Where do you eat right now? Yeah, on the, on the couch, couch or on the floor? On the floor? Oh, you I have little that? cushions, yeah. <laughs> I love that couch, by the way. I know. This was my little personal project that I did. I reupholstered it myself. Wait, you reupholstered that? that is, I reupholstered yeah. it. Wow. So amazing so that you did that. I don't even know why we're here, because clearly she knows how to DIY. But whatever, we're already here, so let's just do it. <laughs> Welcome like to the drag pad. Because <laughs> you like drag queen? Is that why we're calling drag pad? I love drag queens. She has wigs what does over that there. Mean? Look at the wigs, Joey. Take it in. What I really would love is to transform it into a place that expresses me. Drag queen palace meets bohemian. I love juxtaposition. That's like my thing. But this is a new challenge. We'll dress Joey as a woman the entire time he's decorating this space. Tuck it, Joey. Tuck it. <laughs> so the first project that we're tackling in this space is something that is really important to Maya which is disco balls. I think this is the last. Uh, Are we doing one each? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's Joey, you got this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have to okay, film so this. Yeah, I'm oh, vlogging. You want to vlog? vlog? Okay, yeah, yes. for sure. Oh, you got it on a tripod. I have it on a tripod. Wait, so oh. we're making a video? She's doing a vlog. Oh, the collab. Yes, yes you guys are doing a video a for my channel, collab. <laughs> I am here. We're making giant disco balls. Yes, you guessed it. This is the universal symbol for drag queen. Yes. Well, we're gonna use these giant Chinese lanterns and they're amazing because they're large and inexpensive. A 30 inch actual disco ball. Hundreds of dollars. Like $500? Yeah. We wanna do like a cluster. So I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to do a rad DIY project. I'm excited. I have them all over my house sprinkled throughout, but the fact that I actually get to have a real life disco ball, and not just one, I get three. The technique for these DIY disco balls is really easy, and I wanted to give Maya a variety of disco balls because who knew there could be a variety of disco balls? If you imagine bohemian meets disco ball, it would have sort of a a deconstructed element to it. This is like an art installment on your ceiling, right? Because This is the budget ball. <laughs> <laughs> so the first ball we are glittering using some spray adhesive first and then sprinkling the glitter over it like a nice oregano on a pizza pizza. I'm gonna go work on some other stuff. You guys can finish these balls. Look at Joey with glitter all over his hands. They do call it the herpes of the makeup world. Glitter? Yeah, because it never goes away. <laughs> This looks like a drag planet on glitter. This is where all the drag queens live. <laughs> These are some gorgeous vintage cane chairs. They have that sort of old vintage look to them, but we want them to look fun and modern and boho. I'm taking off the pieces and I'm spraying them pink. From glitter to pink. That's my life. This next disco ball is metallic tissue paper and we're just cutting strips of it to go around the ball using hot glue and we're just cutting fringe in it. Yeah, girl, look at this! 
So what we'll do is we'll glue little dots so that this lower layer of fringe will hang. I have to go. You do? I oh yeah. But I'll be back in an hour because I just have to take care of business. Okay, oh yeah, you go girl, you business. I'll be here. Okay. Decorating your place. And I'm leaving Kate and Joey to handle business. Inhale, exhale, you guys. Please do me right. <laughs> Joey! What? Oh, there you are. So Maya just left. That's good though because we can start the mural. I thought you were doing the mural. Yeah, I am doing the mural, but can you help me set up? When I first came over to Maya's apartment, this wall was the first thing she pointed out to me. She was like, I don't know what to do on it. And we finally settled on a watercolor mural, which I am so excited about. However, watercolor is usually done on paper. It will be my challenge to try to get the paint to be manipulated the way that watercolor acts on paper. Will you marry me? What? Mmm, sure. Hey, we're already married though. All right, thanks for reminding me. So the couch is gonna be here and then all these colors spreading across. Got glaze to mix in with all the colors because the glaze will thin the colors so that they're a little more translucent. Are you worried at all it's gonna look super girly? Excuse me? Are yeah. you worried at all it's gonna look No, <laughs> Joey. I'm don't. slightly worried. That's the big project that Kate is nervous that Maya's not gonna like. I'm nervous about it too. First of all, I'm nervous already. I need you to be supportive right now. Okay. Here goes nothing. So I'm practicing my technique down at the base of the wall using this dark blue color, which is really perfect because it ties in the couch. And then I'm gonna get lighter as I go up the wall. Once it's on the wall, I'm moving quickly with a spray bottle to keep the paint moving so it doesn't dry in any clumps. It's a free flowing process. It's a bohemian process, let me tell you. All right, so we're putting this amazing Samsung TV into Maya's place. There are spots for today's video, so they're hooking us up. And it came in this giant crate. I gotta get it out of this thing. Oh. Wow. Did you put this on here? That's what it's for, right? Yeah. I can stand on this? Well, you have about twice as high to go. No, no. Yep. Don't sass me. <laughs> Got a spray bottle. I am going to go ahead and tackle this hutch that we're gonna put under this awesome TV. Fastest furniture assembly, go. Do you like surprises? Little... No, I don't like surprises. <laughs> Maya's back from visiting our office and we may as well just show her the mural because it's done and I'm gonna kind of read her since we're sort of halfway there. So Maya, check out your mural. It's not that big of a surprise. <laughs> it's just a touch. I check out your new wall. Oh, fun! It goes so wash. well with your couch. I washed your wall with some color. You did. <laughs> I used the couch as sort of like the inspiration of color. It's like like a watercolored like you... couch. Going yeah! Into the wall. It's super DIY arts and crafts, which I kind of really like because it's as if I let my five-year-old inner self just go nuts on the wall. You <laughs> need to hide yourself. I'm going to edit. I have noise-canceling headphones. Don't ruin it for yourself. I'm excited! We got a lot to do, so. Yeah, I know. Get the ladder. What? I'll, I'll get, get the, the balls. You get, you get the, the ladder. ladder. You get the ladder. I get the ball. I'll get the ladder. The time has come to use the biggest ladder I have ever seen in my life. We have done a lot of interior design, and we have never used a ladder this big, guys. Wait, watch my abdomen. I can't reach it. It's too tall. No, I'm falling. It's falling. No, I want to know what they're doing, and I have my hands like this. I can't, because they're editing, <laughs> and like that. It's too tall. It's going to hit the ceiling. It's going to hit the ceiling. No. That's not going to hit the ceiling. It's hitting the ceiling, Joey. Bring it down. It is, is it hitting yeah, the ceiling? It's hitting, tr trust me, I can see it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that might actually hit the ceiling. Let's bring it down. So the big one can go kind of centered, maybe a little more to the... We want these to be staggered, Joey. Yeah. So this one's the lowest and this one. Just can measure you? the distance, yeah. Okay. The height doesn't matter. 27. Seven, yes. Perfect. 29, 30-ish. I hope this ladder can handle both of us. Shut up, Joey. That's not a fat joke, that's... I didn't think it was a fat joke. Oh. I was asking for my life. Let's get these balls on the ceiling. Otherwise, I'll crush your balls in my hand. 
We don't need these disco balls to spin around or light up or anything because they are just bedazzled enough on their own with the sun coming through those amazing high windows. Yes, balls. Do you like this? Oh yeah, it's like a waistband. What? It's like a fringe dress. Would you wear this? This would be very I wouldn't. risky. No, 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 you would wear it like here. We're like making gypsy skirts. It's gonna be macrame. Macrame and Ryan Lewis. I feel like if you look up Bohemian in the dictionary, you will see a picture of a macrame curtain. I'm starting to rethink having you be part of this project. Okay. <laughs> Untie this. Okay. Why are you? Because I'm so tired. I'm helping. I am using this glittery string curtain that I found super inexpensive. It was like $10. And then I got some inexpensive white fabric that I'm just cutting strips and I'm tearing the strips so they have that sort of torn edge look, very bohemian rustic looking. And I'm gluing the two together so it's now a double paneled curtain. I'm gonna get them up underneath this overhang of the loft. And then I'm gonna create a macrame lattice pattern using some wooden beads. So I'm just kind of combining different strips of the fabric and the glittery string to create a beautiful cascading lattice that really looks like macrame. This is the coolest chandelier I've seen in a while. It's got these cool tentacles coming off, almost like mercury dipped glass bulbs. Oh man, it's looking good. This table we found vintage as well. It's such a beautiful gray tone. The loft itself is warm wood. The table is a cool wood. See how many balls I can fit in here. I want to give Maya some more disco balls and since we didn't put actual disco balls on her ceiling, I want to give her some cute little mini ones in a clear vase. Since Maya is the tech princess, I want to give her some fairy lights. So I'm just burying the battery pack down in the base of the vase. She doesn't even have to worry about flowers because she got flair. Okay, set it around right there. Okay. It's curvy. Now for this TV, it's amazing. It's the Samsung SUHD TV. Not only is this a 65 inch 4K screen, it's also their 360 design, so it's curved. It's got this really cool base that makes it look like it's floating. It has a really clean minimalist design, which I think can fit into any interior design style. I think I might just take it home with me. She hasn't seen it yet, we could still take it. No, are you kidding? This is what anchors this entire wall. But can I tell you why it's so cool? What? Tech tip, it's bezel free. Normally TVs have like a margin. Oh, like a frame. Cool. I think I'm gonna take it home. No, Joey. <sighs> we are giving Maya an egg chair because Maya is so cool. She deserves the coolest chair ever. And I can totally see little Jackie the dog just perched in there. Whoa. It's cozy, right? Yeah, can I just direct from here? You, oh, Kate. They're throw pillows, that's where they're going. It's like threads from the moon. <gasps> Jackie's gonna love this. Oh. No, it's not a shag rug. It's not where you shag. <laughs> what are you doing? Just lay What's down. Happening? You can look up at the moon. I'm sorry if I want to lay down in the shag rug and hug my baby. Wow, these look so cool from all angles. I know they're supposed to be disco balls, but it's all very solar system. Yeah, these are the is. planets. That's like the aurora. Aurora Borealis. existing coffee table, it's nice clean lines with a marble top, accenting the top with some accessories. We found the most amazing pair of vintage chairs ever. The pattern is very drag, birds with feathers of many different colors. built-in shelves right next to the dining area, so I'm just styling it with a variety of items, record player, and of course, her amazing mannequin heads with these wigs, yes! Hello, the wigs are in our color palette. I didn't plan that, or did I? <laughs> and then with those pink chairs, slay. Hello, darling. Hello. Are you ready? Mm, please, Maya, do you like it? It's so colorful and cool, I love it. If you don't like it, I'll take it. I cannot believe what has been done to my home. Oh my gosh, she loves it. Look at this. She's so clean. The pink? Yes. With the table? There's a mature 
Bohemian drag queen, just, yeah. you know, in her loft. And this cool light, I mean, that light's pretty awesome. Okay, we wanted some classic items, you know, like these I had growing up. Cheers. Really? Yes. Oh my god. I had these growing up. Oh. <gasps> there's a carpet! I know, there's two. Holy <laughs> <f> <laughs> The two rugs? What? I wouldn't think about doing anything like that. How amazing. Look at that. TV! <laughs> I haven't owned a TV forever. It's curvy like you. No. no just, yeah. Do you die? This is like a living room. It That's is a sexy. living room. You're a grown-up dress. This is like my fun like imagination, like in yeah. my mind. I was kind of apprehensive about was that wall, but I really like it because it's just kind of like freedom of expression and blah. I'm obsessed obviously with the disco ball. It's because my ceilings are so high. It fills up the space so well. Don't pee on the car. <laughs> this is like what you see in the magazine. You deserve that though. You work yeah, so you hard do. and now this is like no longer your workspace. This is just your home, which is great. I've never had a place that embodied me and my energy and I think Kate and Joey did an amazing job. This piece is so amazing. I'm so glad you like it. But you know what we need to do now? We gotta get fabulous. We have to get fabulous. Yeah, we gotta get- You ready, Joey? So what? <laughs> Are you ready? We have to like christen this yes, top wall. Yes, <laughs> okay, okay, what are drag names? Princess with the tiara. Princess tiara. What about me? Strawberry. Oh yeah, strawberry maybe frizzai. Strawberry frizzai. Yeah. <laughs> you look so good in that hair. Um. You look so shameless. You're neon Dion. I will oh. take it. <laughs> we did it. Yay. Not that wig. What? Oh, Princess Tiara, you look great. New alter ego. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so yeah. happy that we're back with OMG. OMG, we came over, we conquered. It's so fun to be able to do what we did for ourselves in our house, in other people's homes. And I think Maya really loves it, which is the whole point. You guys have to check out Maya's channel. Like, yes. she's such a cool person, does so much cool stuff. Shameless Maya. Speaking of subscribing. Yes. If you aren't subscribed to our channel. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> we really want to do more of these OMG are coming over videos because there's so many personalities out there and so much uniqueness that needs to be manifested into the physical form. Wow. Yeah. Bye. Where are you going? <laughs> Wait, no, I'm me coming with you. Oh, yeah. This way. Oh, yeah, we live okay. together.